you write a per pixel perfect line on the right side, you get an extra two MPH because of bounds checks or whatever. <laughs> is that is that a real speedrun strategy for desert bus? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you so making that up, boy. Oh wow, could you imagine? Of course not. Can so, you imagine if you're there, it's like, yeah, and you can actually get a point in seven hours and 58 minutes. So there are, like, theoretically, there are desert bus speedrun strats in the sense that there are certain things that you can do that should make your bus go, like, for instance, stopping at bus stops and stuff. I think we determined that it is by, by it's not by time. Like, it is by it's time traveled. So theoretically, if you, like, take your hand off the accelerator for a while you you will take a little bit longer to get to vegas yeah so theoretically <laughs> there is like, like a an there, there is a speed yeah it's there is a speed common. run strut and you know like grinding against the side of the road might slow you down a little bit interesting interesting yeah we need to computer there could be to like an optimal yeah what is the optimal time yeah, the other numbers? thing i don't know if they so it's take, gonna be like a second over the eight hours yeah you say. take into account matt but there's a heck of a headwind on that road <laughs> like i'm telling you there's a headwind mm. maybe that's why you can you're, you're you know that's so maybe why you're so it. limited why you're stuck to 45 yeah yeah because like you can you can hang on the accelerator and you ain't getting faster than that wind coming at you. <laughs> the street run strategy is no bus out. stops. I tested these things. But like uh, there's also the, the other interesting thing, you know, you find out all new things about this game every time you play. That's why it's so deep. Uh, <laughs> that as you as you uh, go across the uh, road the the amount that you move across the road is variable. Right? Yes. As you as you as you go along, you speed up and slow down uh, your turning. It's almost like a labyrinth. Which can really mess you up. Yeah. yeah. Don't know what it's time you're labyrinth. really in anymore, Matt. Oh. Is it today or is it yesterday? I don't. I don't it, know. You know is it, is it's within the mind trap. Yeah, I've right. lost all sense of time. Is it you tomorrow know, already? Is it tomorrow already? I'm given to understand that yes, it is tomorrow, tomorrow already. Tomorrow will never come. 19 miles or 25 minutes from the next point. That sounds about right. We've almost, we're almost five minutes away from the first full 24 hours of Desert Bus as well. That's true. Oh yeah. yes, no, I, at the end of this, I'm impressed. At the end of this run will be the first, 20, the first full 24 hours of Desert Bus 2018. So a realism fail with this ultra-realistic driving simulator. Mm. We never run out of gasoline. That's because we refill at each destination. Oh, point. when you get there, it's implied that you're filling up when you're getting that point. And I yeah. guess if you're interesting, you're only going at 45, so you're not uh, you're not like really pushing the engine too much. I, I didn't I didn't think about that. That's neat. That's neat. All right, all right, all right. You win this round, Wiggins. You win this round. <laughs> you're on an incredibly fuel efficient bus. Yeah, I, a credit to the driver really. Could for, be because it's empty. Yeah, Just it's a lot lighter than it would be otherwise. There's not a lot of weight in there. With no passengers, we've got all kinds of extra room for fuel. Yeah, yeah. Well, f fair enough. I mean, a solar-powered bus... Now, you would think a solar-powered bus would be very effective, except that it never becomes daytime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it would be really effective for the first eight hours of the trip. Correct. But after that, it would be marginal at best. You'd be getting, like, a little bit of dusk <laughs> and dawn, and that's it. Not effective. Yeah, as we glitch through into the nega world that no longer has. Well, that's daylight. why you need the hybrid, Paul. You see, switch it over to the, you know, the gas at that point. Yeah, yeah. That's very silly. And a jet engine. Someone in the chat said, "Yeah, that would help a lot." How fast can you go from Tucson to Arizona? <laughs> Pretty fast. That I, I bet there's a plane that goes that like that's a little, faster little plane than trip that you could take. That'd be great. Driving. 